say uh, to all of you that are both at, at home and here in the house, and so so good to see people returning to the house of the Lord. Amen. Uh, I'm glad we're able to provide an online service, but I want to encourage you who are watching online and have been there for months and months to return into the presence of God. I, I have just spent 30 days away from the house of the Lord, uh, my friends, and I'll tell you there's a difference in being and watching online and participating online and being here and experiencing the presence of the Holy Spirit in this house. And so I want to encourage you to come out. Uh, I've had people tell me, well, you know, I just can't do it. I can't come to a place that has people in it. And I say, you go to Walmart, you go to Fry's Market, you're going to all these places that you have to go to in many cases, but don't pretend that it's more dangerous to come to the house of the Lord than it is to go anywhere else. Because if you do, you're buying into the lie of the devil that wants to keep you out of the presence of God. Now, I know there's a place for people to, to, to be quarantined, and I've supported that throughout this entire time. I'm just saying that there is a scripture that encourages us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. There's something that happens when you and I come together and we begin to worship and we begin to magnify the Lord. I mean, this morning, almost every line of song we were singing just exploded in me as I thought, yes, yes. And, um, you know, David said he would take himself by the nap of the neck and he'd say, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Bless the Lord and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Sometimes you just got to make yourself do it. Amen? Yeah. And when you praise him and magnify his name, the, he inhabits the praise of his people, and you sense his strong presence with you. Glory to God. I encourage, I, I'm encouraged by that word that you brought to us today. BJ, thank you for that.